our media partner, Kathy Mack, running the panel. We've got the founder, Scott Bentley, on here as well. So I'm going to hand it over to him and the three panellists, who all come from a background in the media. Uh, and the panel is maximising modern media. So, enjoy. Hello, can you hear me there? Can you hear me in the back? Yeah. Okay, thanks, thanks, thanks. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. I, uh, when I first saw Caffeine about um, five years ago, I, uh, I was really surprised that there was nothing else out there. Um, I mean, I'll go to, I'll go to places like WXC, and I could... Is that better as well, from Sonia? I don't know. Um, so I'll, I'll go to a news agent and I'll find like five different magazines on carp fishing or train spotting and yet there was nothing there about coffee. And we were considering how many people I knew and you know that used to drink coffee, it was incredible to me that there was this massive gap in the market that nobody seemed to be tapping into. Um, and I suppose um, I'm always surprised that there are so many stories to sort of tell about coffee and that no one was telling those stories. Um, I had a background in print media, so for me it was an obvious thing to create print media. Um, but more recently, um, we've been noticing, uh, Caffeine, that uh, other forms of media, such as filmmaking, um, are starting to now gravitate towards uh, the ideas, the stories of, um, of coffee, and it's rich in diversity from you know, the growers to the people that um, serve you the coffee to competitions etc um, and so I kind of wanted to explore that today uh, and talk um, talk about how filmmaking and coffee are kind of coming together as a sort of uh, genre at the moment uh, I've got three uh, incredibly talented individuals in front of me which all specialise in this and I think what we'd like to try and do further on in the talk is maybe give you guys some hints and tips about how you can produce your sort of um, films, whether that be uh, whether you want to be the next person to make a feature film uh, like Jason, or whether you're going to launch your own YouTube channel uh, like Tim, uh, or, or your own web series like Celeste. So it may even be that you just want to have some tips on how to make your Snapchats or your um, Instagram stories look a bit better. So I think we'll start off, I'm going to quickly go to each member of the panel, ask them to give you a, a really quick quick Celeste, a really quick uh, just summary of who they are and then we're going to play um, a little minute video of each of theirs to give you an idea of what they do and, uh, and how they go about things and then after that we'll go to a much more question and answer style um, panel. So we're going to kick off now with uh, Celeste's uh, Girl Cafe um, and I'll pass you over. Hi, my name is Celeste Wong and um, I do a video series and blog which is based around coffee and lifestyle, mainly my lifestyle. Um, yeah, and that's basically what I do. I mean, my background is um, I have a degree in business and uh, continuing applied sciences uh, and I'm also an actress and I've been a barista for uh, and involved in the coffee industry for about 12 years. So yeah, that's... Uh, yeah. Cool. Can we have so <laughs> Dan? Yes, Tim. quick rundown, so um, Tim, uh, just to the uh, left of Celeste, she, uh, he um, produces a, website, uh, a YouTube channel, and he'll just give you a quick update on what that is. 
Hi. Hi. Uh, my name is Tim Rock, and I'm a filmmaker, director, editor, sort of jack of all trades, master of none. And uh, I love filmmaking and I love comedy. And I recently, in the last sort of six years, began to love coffee. So it was a kind of merger of all the things I've wanted to do and have been doing, and wanted to move forward in, within the world of coffee to educate people but in a fun way about how amazing and exciting coffee is and of course it, it, it's, it's like wine now so there's a lot to learn so my aim is basically to, to make it easily digestible for, for the public and fun and, uh, that's it. And, uh, and Jason's just going to give you a quick brief uh, uh, your bio and what he does. Hi, um, my name is Jason Breckenridge and I've been a filmmaker for 20 years um, and I moved to London about 16 years ago at which point I made a few films for the BBC and then a few long format uh, documentaries for Al Jazeera but then I had children so I had to look a bit closer to home to make some, um, some, some documentaries and that happened to coincide with the opening of three, four, five interesting cafes in East London and that was really exciting to me because secretly I'm a, a wannabe barista so everything changed for coffee and relative to coffee for me when I managed to, to finally find this mad person in a flat cap who was serving flat whites in an abandoned parking lot off of Columbia Road and that happened to be Willem Davis and ever since then I've been obsessed with the idea of making a film about coffee it's taken about four years finally finished so. Thank you. We, we good? Okay, I'm just going to show a few oh, trailers. I love a theme that's exciting, heartbreaking, evolving, but all encapsulating, like any relationship. Over the years, I've made thousands of copies in some of the best artisan cafes in the world, and I've gotten to know some pretty amazing people along the way who've become good friends of mine. This is a program about people. People who are inspiring with their passion, honesty, and their insights, which have made them who they are. They are willing to share their challenges, successes, and experiences with us. I've been inspired by each of them in so many ways, I just have to share them with you. You'll be meeting a rock musician, a war journalist, an acclaimed British actor, a top London chef, and many others. Join our conversation as we get some insight into their lives. Along the way, you'll learn a bit about who they are and a bit about coffee too. Because I'll also be taking you behind the scenes into the heart of London's coffee industry, exploring the intersection between coffee and life. I want all these amazing people to be a part of your world as well as mine. Now we're going to um, well, on the introductions, we're going to have this uh, Tim. You two are getting Tim Trevor. Max Overland, right here. Sweetness follows the sharpness. Prune, maybe? Very easy. I get great sweetness instantly. Berries. And uh, yeah, now just pretty much dump all of that in there. And it starts, so the first bit we call the bloom. So here we'll pour about a third of the water. Jason. So who wants to see a barista competition? Sorry, I'll try again. Who wants to see a barista competition? <laughs> <laughs> 
Champion, John Gordon. Brilliant. Okay. Brilliant. Well, I think we know how easy it can be if you can't be something better. And when you take them up for Andrew Wong's day to be just a little bit better, it brings life to just a little bit better. Anyone who's passionate about coffee, that's what they're trying to do. Honestly, look at any industry or any particular thing that people are interested in. People will go in and take anything to the end of the with coffee, it's this competition where you make top drinks for a pound of judges. If you're not a coffee person, it's going to look insane. This is a valley drink at my temperature. There are no drinking instructions. Just sit back and enjoy. Once you try a proper of excellence coffee and it doesn't taste like coffee, it tastes like hot chocolate or it tastes like orange juice. And uh, it just opens your mind. It's like, wow, I had no idea coffee could be like this. Coffee has always been a sensory experience. The taste of my balance is this espresso, a great black acidity, lovely floral notes of orange blossom, hint of chocolate, sugar cane sweetness, raisins, lime acidity, coffee apple, like a single toffee bitterness just at the back. <laughs> it can go on and you'll be scored how accurate you're doing So you have to know your coffee. The only person you can be is yourself because there is no team against you and you taking something away from them will make you better. There are a lot of competitors, and something really has to make you stand out. The World Championships is like the Olympics. It's people excelling at the forefront of the discipline of, of specialty coffee. A bit nervous today.